Note to learner, this video provides content that will be hosted on the Ginny May LMS in the near future. In this video, you will not be able to interact with screen content to include selecting pop-ups, launching resource hyperlinks, and answering knowledge check questions. Nonetheless, you will be presented with all of the content presented in the interactive e-learning training. Though the audio narration may request that you select items or buttons on the screen, please pause the video to read the content and then select play to continue with the video. When the video advances to a knowledge check, please pause the video and try to answer the question in your head. Select play to see the correct answer or answers to the question. Welcome to Loan Matching and Suspense. The purpose of this training is to present the Loan Matching and Suspense function in the Reporting and Feedback System, RFS. Select objectives to learn what you will be able to do by the end of this module. Select Next to continue when you are ready. The Reporting and Feedback System, RFS, runs automated processes monthly to verify that Ginny May pool loans have the requisite agency insurance or guarantee. RFS electronically matches issuer reported loan data to the agency data. Should there be non matches, issuers are required to research and resolve all non matches. Agency data reported monthly to Ginny May include the following Federal Housing Administration, FHA, multifamily endorsement, RD, which stands for Rural Development, U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, Rural Housing Service, RHS, and USDA RD. Federal Housing Administration Single Family, SF, Insurance System, A43 Database, SFIS. Computerized Homes Underwriting Management System, CHUMS. Veterans Affairs, VA, Guaranteed Data. NA or Not Applicable, HUD, Public and Indian Housing, PIH not matched at this time. Select Next to continue. Depending on whether you are a single-family issuer or a multifamily issuer, the match criteria is slightly different. Take some time to review these match criteria. Select Next when you are ready. Ginny May has standardized its rules for reporting of assigned case numbers regarding its business applications. This applies to the following FHA, FHA Title I, FH1, VA, RHS, RD, PIH, RMF, and FHA Multifamily, FMF. APM 2-17, New Standards for Reporting Loan Information to Ginny May, provides detailed information on the reporting of case numbers to Ginny May. Ginny May has posted additional information on the data that is used to populate the case number field at www.ginnymay.gov. This information includes automated data processing, ADP, codes, FHA case prefix, VA loan type, RHS state code, etc. All case numbers must be reported as 15 digits. Examine the following conventions by selecting each button. Select Next to continue. Now, try this knowledge check. Now, try this knowledge check. To navigate to the Matching and Suspense Mass module, take the following steps. First, log into My Ginny May. Second, 
select Tools at the top right of the interface. Third, select Mass under RFS in the Applications menu. Fourth, select RFS tab. And lastly, select Mass in the drop-down menu. Select Next to continue. Once you access the Mass function in RFS, there are seven tabs. These include Home, Loan, Suspense, Matching Results, Downloads, Mass Errors are accessible from the Downloads tab, About Mass, and User Guide. Select the Home tab from any page to return to the Home page. Select Next to continue. On the Loan tab, you will see the Loan Details screen, which displays loan information and matching information from the current month's loan matching data record. Here, you can limit the resulting loan list using any one of the search fields. They are Case Number, Pool ID, Unique Loan ID, and Issuer Loan ID. If logged on as an issuer, an additional field, Issuer ID, is available. If you select the Reporting Period on the Loan tab, the current reporting period plus the previous five periods are available. Select Next to continue. The Suspense tab displays the Suspense List screen. The Suspense edits are applied during the Loan Level upload of the issuer reported files or during online entry of loan activity. The loan must have previously matched to the FHA, VA, or RD agency data as applicable. Select an Issuer ID and a Report Period from drop-down menus. A list of all the selected issuer's suspended records for the specified report period displays. You can also view a specific suspended record by entering one of the following. Pool ID, Unique Loan ID, or the Issuer Loan ID. Issuer ID and Report Period must be selected. Select Next to continue. For single-family loans, the primary match fields for all loans are Loan Type, Case Number, and Original Principal Balance, OPB. For FHA loans, the criteria also include Interest Rate, Zip Code, and Maturity Date. For FHA multifamily project loans, the primary match fields for all loans are case number and OPB. For multifamily construction loans, the primary match fields for all loans are case number and mortgage rate. For manufactured housing, the primary match fields are case number and OPB. Select Next to continue. The suspense list and downloaded files contain loan-level records that have been submitted by issuers. They also contain one or more fields where the incoming reported data for that field is suspended. Such records are called suspense records. Issuers must download suspense items and indicate the action to resolve the suspense and return the file to Ginnie Mae Suspense at Deloitte.com. To resolve the suspense, Issuers need to mark the record with an A, Accept, or R, Reject, in the appropriate column. Suspense record exceptions are reported by the RFS Exception Feedback Process. Issuers must view and download their suspended records each month after receiving an e-notification. Select Next to continue. The Matching Results tab provides a list of available search screens. Take the following steps. First, select Insurance Matching. Second, from the Loan Type drop-down menu, select the appropriate agency. Then, from the Report Type drop-down menu, select either Insurance Matching Results or Insurance Fields Not Matched. Note that Insurance Fields Not Matched is only for FHA. Lastly, select Go. Select Next to continue. The Downloads tab provides a list of available downloads. Downloads include Insurance, Terminate, and Suspense. They also include Aged Matching, Aged Terminated Matching, and Various Suspense. Insurance, Suspense, and Various Suspense apply to multifamily. Select Next to continue. 
The About Mass tab displays the RFS software version for matching and suspense. Select Next to continue. The User Guide tab can be selected to download or display the RFS matching and suspense user guide. Select Next to continue. Now, try this knowledge check. Let's now review loan matching, starting with match status codes and the resolution for non-matches. When an issuer pulls the exception download, if there are any MAT exception alerts, they will display on the report. The issuer can only see the matching status codes when they download data from the MASS module. Match status code NC is connected to exception alert MAT001. It is not matched on case number. Therefore, take the following actions. Verify the loan is actively insured. Verify you are reporting the correct case number and original principal balance, OPB. Then, verify the agency is reporting the correct case number and OPB. If not, have it corrected. Match status code MC is connected to exception alert MAT. 002. It is matched on case number only. Verify the loan is actively insured. Verify you are reporting the correct case number. Verify the agency is reporting the correct case number. Then verify OPB matches the note, if not, have it corrected. Match status codes MA are connected to exception alerts MAT 003 to MAT-005. MA indicates the loan is matched on case number and OPB. The first component of MA is interest rate MAT-003. Verify you are reporting the correct interest rate. Then, verify the agency is reporting the correct interest rate. If not, have it corrected. The second component is zip code MAT-004. Verify you are reporting the correct zip code, first three digits. Verify the agency is reporting the correct zip code, first three digits. If not, have it corrected. The final component is maturity date, MAT-005. Verify you are reporting the correct maturity date. Then, verify the agency is reporting the correct maturity date. If not, have it corrected. Select each type of status and exception code to learn more. Select Next to continue. The Loan Matching and Suspense is a module of RFS. You will receive an e-notification if there is an error or non-match applicable to you. The errors are accessible on the Downloads tab. Take a moment to review the table outlining the schedule of download files and e-notifications. Select Next to continue when you are ready. Let's now discuss key workflow tasks. We run matching on the 5th business day, BD, the 10th business day, and the 25th calendar day, CD. You can see everything that comes in as a non-match on the 6th business day. You may make corrections between the 1st and the 10th business day of the month. You can pull your download on the 11th business day to see any changes. Note that issuers may pull again after the 3rd match on the 25th calendar day to see what remains. Select Next to continue. The issuer will review the items in the download file, such as the example on the screen. Then they will mark the records with an A to accept or an R to reject. Next, they will return the spreadsheet to GinnyMayVarious at Deloitte.com no later than the 20th calendar day of the month. Select Next to continue. Take a moment to explore this example of data showing the match codes for an FHA loan type. 
Do you remember the match codes for our earlier discussion? Select Next to continue. Now, try this knowledge check. Now, try this knowledge check. The goal of this training module was to provide you with a fundamental understanding of the loan matching and suspense functionality in the reporting and feedback application. You explored what Ginny May loan matching is and the match criteria that the system electronically examines to determine if the issuer reported loan data matches the agency data. Next, you learned how to access the MASS functionality in RFS and what information is provided in the MASS tabs. Finally, you examine the timeline for when Ginny May runs matches and when the issuer must resolve non-matches. Select Objectives for a review of what you should now be able to do. This concludes the training. You may use the exit button to leave the presentation at this time.